Okay, so this is actually the wine that I was drinking in my live stream that I just did as well, but I'm not finished with it. What do you want from me? This is my favorite white wine, point blank. It is called Frenzy. It is a 2018 Marlboro Sauvignon Blanc, and it is a product of New Zealand. Capturing the spirit of New Zealand, Frenzy is crisp, refreshing, vibrant, aromatic, and energetic with hints of peach, grapefruit, lime, melon, and fresh cut grass. That is a little bit extra, but it's really good. And you're thinking, why are you drinking white wine in the winter? Well, you know what? I don't discriminate. And right now I wanna make sure that I don't sweat myself to death while making this video. So I can hear the heat, it just came on. I can hear it a clanging down there. So of course the minute I start filming, they just crank up the heat. And no, I cannot control the heat coming from this radiator. I've gotten so many comments from people who are trying to help, so I do appreciate it. Advising me on how to turn off a radiator. Guys, trust me, if there was a way to turn off this radiator, I would have known about it. I've been here for 10 years. It's like flat and a part of the wall. It's not like one of those normal radiators where there's a knob on the side. So I just have to deal with whatever this building decides to do with the heat. It's a joy and a pleasure. So today I'm doing a get ready with me that is all about a holiday festive look. And I'm really excited because I have a lot of brand new products to use. Some of them that I haven't even tried myself until this very moment. Okay, so I started with the Good Molecules Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. This is something that I mentioned in a previous video and I have been using this to prime my skin before makeup and I love it. Big freaking surprise because everything Good Molecules comes out with, I just, I don't think they can do anything wrong. I'm going to mix my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer with my Fenty Pro Filter Foundation. I tend to do two pumps of the Pretty Fresh and one pump of the Fenty. Probably honestly could have done one pump of each. This is a little bit too much foundation that I probably wasted on my hand, but oh well. So I've had some people comment and ask me for gift ideas and guys, hello, I put out two gift guide videos. So if you need any gift ideas, I've got some really good ones in there. I'm just saying gift ideas for dudes, gift ideas that are a little bit quirkier that aren't necessarily beauty related. Okay, so now I'm going to take my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer, which is my go-to concealer right now. It's all I'm using. I'm realizing that this top I'm wearing right now is actually the top I wore when I made my very first YouTube video. I've gone back and watched that video a couple times out of just sheer curiosity. And I had no idea what I was doing, guys. I literally just decided to get my camera rolling and just make a video. I didn't know anything about YouTube. Pretty sure everything I learned about YouTube was taught to me by Michelle Wong, Chelsea Gary, Stephanie Marie, Better Off Red. And I'm so grateful because I mean, I literally was just an idiot when it came to YouTube. So I've had a lot of people ask me, how did you decide to start a YouTube channel? Like what inspired you? And honestly, it was my friends. A few of my close friends and I would do this thing where we would just sit down after a long day in New York with a glass of wine and just record a long ass video, which took forever to upload. And we email it to each other. And it was just like the highlight of my week. It was so fun. And a couple of those friends were like, you're really good at this. I kind of want to just sit around and watch you drink and bitch about things. So I was like, well, how do I do that and maybe try to make it a job? And then my friend Carly was like, you should have a YouTube channel. You're great at makeup and you could drink and it would be great. And I was like, I don't really watch YouTube. I don't really get it. I'm not sure. I thought it was for the kids. Then I put some thought to it and I I was like, I'll give it a whirl. Guys, holiday movie reference, what was it? Okay, so now I'm going to take my Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Storm. I mean, if that's not the perfect flush, I don't know what is. I'm telling you right now, if you guys haven't bit the bullet on Glossier yet, what are you doing? Just a reminder, I will of course link everything that I'm using today down below in my description box. Don't you worry. So I wanna talk to you guys about a brush brand that I've been loving for so many reasons. This is a brand that reached out to me and I'm so glad they did because these guys who created this brand are such cool people 
Not only is the brand great, the people behind it are genuine and awesome. And like, that's not always the case. Oh, crrr. So this brush brand is called Refer. And I think actually today is their one year anniversary. I just happen to be filming on it, which is kind of creepy and crazy. Anyway, happy anniversary to Refer. What a perfect time to share their brushes with you guys. This is a brand that was created by three dudes who knew nothing about makeup, but they were tech geeks and they wanted to basically create a brand about something that they didn't know anything about. And I know that sounds bizarre, but when you really think about it, it's brilliant. This whole brand has been created because of feedback from people who love makeup and makeup brushes. Tom and the other guys on this team basically wanted to get as much feedback as they possibly can. And they wanted to be unbiased. They don't take anything personally. They don't take it to heart. They're really listening to what people want. And because of that, they are making some of the best brushes on the market. They were kind enough to send me their entire holiday set. The thing that's really special about these brushes is that they are made in Japan. These are high qual brushes, okay? Michelle Wong was actually one of the first people I know who talked about these brushes. And if you guys don't know, Michelle Wong is basically a brush expert. She really is. She knows her shit about brushes. So I trust everything she has to say. Kinky Sweat has also talked about about these brushes as well as Teresa is dead all people that I really respect these are handcrafted by master artists in Japan and they use uncut natural hair these brushes pick up and put down product so well. So Refer was kind enough to send me their whole holiday collection and you're like, Kate, it's still in the packaging. You haven't used it. How do you know if it's good? I actually have another set of their brushes that I've been using for the last month. I am a huge fan. So this is the packaging, right? This is how it comes in the mail. And then you take the top off. You basically have a brush holder in and of itself. I mean, this is so smart. It's sleek. It's pretty much nicer looking than all of the brush holders I own that I've bought. It's a two-in-one situation and we all know how much I love a two-in-one situation. What I'm going to be using for you right now is the Holiday Collection. This is 20 brushes for the brush lover, you will never need another brush. I'm almost positive. The other great thing that I want to mention about Refer is that now this is separate from the holiday set, but they have what they call the bespoke program. This is so brilliant. This is a way to personalize your brushes so they perfectly fit you. And the idea behind this is that, you know, not everyone's face is the same. There are so many different eye shapes. Certain brushes don't work well for certain people. And so this is a way for people to really tailor their brushes to what they need. If you are interested in the bespoke program where you basically personalize your own brush set, you get six of their flagship brushes that you personalize for $168. And then they give you a $100 coupon right after you purchase it to use toward any brushes you want in the future. I mean, it's like, I've never even heard of something like that. It is just so cool. So that's the bespoke program. So the bespoke program is different from the holiday collection, which are the brushes that I'm going to be using today. Tom at Refer has been kind enough to provide my subscribers with a very special code for the holidays. It is Kate100. And of course, again, you can find all of these codes down below as well as links in my description box. To be specific, this is actually called the Holiday Travel Set. They've made 200 sets of these and because they are made in Japan, they take a while to ship. So they take 10 to 12 weeks from when you order them. So the entire set of the Travel Holiday Collection retails for $500 $40, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just cool your jets. It's marked down to $340. And then on top of it, they're going to send you my literal favorite brush, which is the P22 brush. <sighs> I'm going to say it. It's my favorite bronzer brush I've ever found. So they're going to give this to you for free. The whole set is $340, but just for my subscribers, Tom has given me a hundred dollar off code. So it's actually, the entire set is actually marked down $300 for a grand total of $240 for all 20 brushes and that free bronzer brush. I'm telling you right now, this P22 bronzer brush is like a ride or die situation. So I'm gonna use my BK Beauty 102 to do my powder because there's actually not like a really huge powder brush in this collection. And I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in One Fair. This is my favorite powder to use if I want 
a little bit of a matte finish. This is what I was using in my last gift guide video when I got so many comments about your skin looks amazing, your makeup looks incredible, tell us how you do it. Well, I'm doing it for you right now and I used this powder. Now I'm going to pull out that P22 refer brush and I'm so excited because oh, it's so good. I'm going to take my Tarte Clay Play Face Shaping Palette because it has one of my favorite bronzers in it. It is in the shade Desert. It's very similar to the Benefit Hula Bronzer shade. Mm. You can see like, look at how evenly blended that looks and I've barely even put it on my face. I love the size of this too. It's perfect for bronzer. I don't need no teensy tiny bronzer brush. You know what I mean? Like that's just not helpful. This just fits perfectly. And I'm just kind of like building this up, making sure it's super blended. So now we're going to move on to eyes. So this is the Alter Ego Aurora palette. I talked about it in my holiday gift guide volume two, and I was also wearing it on my eyes. Again, it got a lot of compliments from you guys on that. So I'm going to try to recreate that eye look. It's super de duper easy. So this has a lot of reds, corals, yellows, lots of great shades. I'm going to really dip into those metallics as well. First, I'm going to take this shade, which is a really beautiful peach color. It's called Star. So I'm going to be using the Refer 01. This is their best-selling blending brush, and I've been using this for a while. I love it. You know what I'm also going to do before I do that? I'm just going to quickly put a little bit of eyeshadow primer on. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, because we just really want these eyeshadows to be super pigmented and pop and Stick. Again, dipping into that shade Star. So you know when I was talking about the holiday in my last gift guide video and I was making fun of Cameron Diaz and how her acting is truly terrible in that movie? I said that she was giving a third-rate Diane Lane impersonation. I actually meant Diane Keaton, but I mean honestly either way you kind of get the point. Now I'm going to go in with this metallic. This is called Stellar and it's this really gorgeous buttery champagne. And I'm just gonna pat that in with my finger. And then I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's called Dawn. It is just the perfect shade to me. It is a shimmery pinky purple. Okay guys, that is literally all I'm gonna do with this palette. That's what I wore in my last video. Now I'm gonna take my Refer 15 brush. It's just clean, there's nothing on it. And I'm just gonna blend the edge. And then I'm gonna go into my Alter Ego Daydream palette because this shade right here, it's called Glow. It is the color of my lid, which to me is perfect because I love to use that to blend out any hard edges and just make everything smooth and perfectly blended. Okay, so I did the whole kit and caboodle off camera. I did my brows, my mascara, my lashes, my liner. So I want to talk to you guys about false lashes. And if you guys know anything about me, you know that I am not really a huge fan. They take a lot of work to put on generally. I think oftentimes they look really fake. I can see a false lash a mile away. However, Alter Ego sent me their new collection of false lashes. They have not made false lashes prior to this. They just dropped the other day, so I thought I'd try them. I wore them again in my holiday gift guide volume two, and I got so many questions asking me what is going on with your lashes. They're gorgeous. So I'm going to tell you. So they sent me eight styles. This particular style is called Royal, which I think is probably the most natural style they make, but all of these are so fun. Like for instance, this one right here is called Craze. Look at those. That is a sexy night out right there. My second favorite next to Royal is probably Plush. Look at how wispy and lush and gorgeous these are. I love these styles and they retail for $5 a pair. What? I actually wore these for the rest of the day after I filmed my holiday gift guide video. I want to say I could go for about five hours and I was like, I don't even really feel these. Any false lashes after like seven hours is like, okay, I gotta take this shit off. But I have to say they're really light. I of course trimmed them to fit my eye, but I really love them and I got like endless compliments on my eye look that day. Also, $5 for lashes like this. I feel like you go to MAC or Sephora and you get like really high quality gorgeous lashes like this and you're paying like, you know, 20 bucks a pop. These are five 
dollars. Uh, I do have a code for you guys if you're interested in trying out Alter Ego's palette, their lashes, whatever. I have a 10% off code down below, which is Kate10 at checkout. So the mascara I'm using is my Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara from L'Oreal. This is literally what I'm wearing every single day. It gives me like the most perfect lengthened lush fat ass lashes i just i love it mm. yeah. so the next thing i'm going to move on to is a blush so i'm going to use the refer 05 which is a multi-purpose cheek brush this is <laughs> falling apart. I don't care because it still looks great in the pan. It is my NARS in exhibit A. Okay, now I know that looks like really, really super pigmented. See, I went just a little bit overboard. You know you thought for a second, ooh girl, you blush, that's too much. Then I took a powder brush, went over it just a little bit. It's a Goldilocks situation. You're welcome. Okay, so the next products I'm going to move on to, I'm super excited about because guys, I bit the bullet. I took my own holiday gift guide advice and bought myself a gift. That's another thing too. I feel like people think gift guides are just for other people. Nay, nay. They're also for yourself. Oh, first I actually want to show you a lip product that I got as a free sample at Sephora. This is the tiniest lipstick I've ever seen. It's adorable. Look at that little lipstick. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Luminous Modern Matte Long Lasting Lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk which is one of her best-selling shades. Okay, that went on just like buttercream. Okay, well now I feel like I don't even need to wear gloss, but I'm gonna. Charlotte Tilbury Tiny Lipstick and Pillow Talk, good job. Guys, I did it. I got the Fenty Lip Gloss Holiday Set. It is, well, if I can open it. It is four of their limited edition gloss bomb shades just for the holidays. And then they also give you one of their best selling shades, which is Fussy, which I already have. But guys, these shades are freaking gorgeous. I don't even know which one to choose, honestly. I'm overwhelmed. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Pretty Please, which is hot pink. I, I just, I can't resist hot pink. Well, my neighbor is practicing piano now. Great, great timing, love it, love it. Okay, that's amazing. Someone recently commented and said that they think the Fenty lip glosses are sticky. No shade on that person, but I could not disagree more. These are one of the most emollient lip glosses. They're so comfortable. Now I'm gonna be super extra and go over it with Confetti, which is this holographic gloss. It has this blue flip to it. Woo! Girl! Like, what's even happening? I just say this really is a run, do not walk situation because this shit is gonna sell out and you're never gonna see it again. So I don't just say, just go get yourself some. Last but not least, we're gonna do highlighter and I do have a brand new highlighter for you from Fenty. This is the Diamond Bomb in How Many Carrots. Guys, I had no intention of buying this, none at all. I'm not a glitter person. It just looked so gorgeous in the pan and so fine that I was like, mm. But wait, I felt it and I was sold. It is so soft, so buttery, and it is this gorgeous, very, very fine, wet looking glitter. I'm like, okay, I have to have it. I have to have it. And I haven't bought a new highlighter in a while. I mean, come on. Oh my God. Oh my God. Just gonna do that. Oh, whoo. wow. Wowie, wowie, McWower, Wowersons. That is a gaga -ga gorgeous. Here's the deal too. They're trying to sell you the brush that goes with it because apparently like it doesn't apply perfectly unless you have the brush, but guys, this is applying perfectly. You can also use this on your body and I think that's where the brush comes into play. I think that's where that's a little bit more helpful. That is out of hand. I I, 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 I don't even know what to say. There are so many things that I could have toasted to in this video. I'm conflicted. That highlighter is so good. I'm angry. So I'm going to finish everything off with a setting spray. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Centering Citrus Primer Water. It says it's silicone, alcohol, and oil-free. Mist on as a primer. Use as a setting spray or to refresh makeup slash mood. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Actually, no, you know what? I need to put some of this on my clavicle. Wow, we're just really being extra today, aren't we? 
Okay, yep, that was the right decision. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this get ready with me holiday look. I feel like it was chock full of things that I'm just roll glad that I own. And you can own them too. Mm. If you guys are digging on my content, please do hit that subscribe button, share and like, and click that little bell right beneath the video. That is going to alert you anytime I drop a new video. Cheers till next time. Mm. <sighs>